Coach Cliff Ellis and his Shauna Clears were in a tussle throughout against Gardner Webb. First half, Coastal's Anthony Rafa was on fire. Hits one of his four threes here, and then off the Rafa block, the lay-in up ahead. He had 16 points in the first half and ended up with a game-high 22. And later, Badu Jang slamming it down. Coastal was up by four at intermission. All right, let's move ahead to crunch time. GW up by two, but Warren Gillis with a clutch shot. Ties the game at 61. And then Kier Greenwood off the turnover takes it coast to coast for Coastal. Shant's up by two, but it was all Gardner-Webb in the final minutes. Tyler Strange, the fans were taunting him, calling him the Hobbit because of his size, but Hobbit makes him pay off the backdoor bucket. And then Strange with the assist to Tayshawn Newsom for the throwdown. Gardner-Webb scored the final nine points of the game to beat CCU 70-63 to the final. Shant's fall to 12-12 and overall. Seven and six in the Big South. Here's what Coach Ellis had to say following the loss. In the end, they made just a few more plays, and, you know, it was right. It got down to the last couple of minutes, and bang, it just all of a sudden, you know, just that things just didn't go the way we needed it to go. I mean, we were right there. We were right there. As a matter of fact, we had a one-point lead inside the four-minute mark, as I recall. Uh, but, you know, they just made some plays down the stretch. Earlier in the day at the HTC Center, Coach Mark Cost and his CCU women took on Gardner Webb, took him into overtime, tied at 67. Shants get it to Shatia Cole. The former Myrtle Beach High Star gets the bucket and draws the foul. With just eight seconds left, she made the free throw. CCU overcomes a 17 point deficit to beat Gardner Webb 70 to 67 in overtime. The Lady Shants have won five of their last six.